Hey gang, Blake and Stein here from Sonic Trinity Studios. Hope you guys are having an outstanding day. We're going to take a break from Bree Stone in Studio One, and we're going to delve into an aspect of Universal Audio Luna. But before we get to that, if you can click that subscribe button and that like button and that notification bell down below, I would really appreciate it. And you could be notified of any new videos coming from yours truly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't know what Universal Audio Luna is, it is a DAW software. It's recording, mixing, so on and so forth. This software is developed by the folks over at Universal Audio, and this specific software is used for Universal Audio equipment only, like the Apollo 8 or the Twin or the Apollo 8X. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with any of their equipment, but if you're lucky enough to have Universal Audio equipment, you can go on the Universal Audio website and download Luna for free. And it's a great software. It's still kind of in its infancy. It's only been out for a little over a year now. So there's still a lot of improvements. A lot of improvements have been done on it so far. But there's one specific aspect. And this goes to multi-instrument VST. In PreSona Studio One, I can take a software like Superior Drummer, BFD, Stephen Slate drums, create the MIDI information on a in, on an instrument track. And then what I like to do is I like to break out those drums into individual tracks so I can process them individually. Add EQ, add effects, add uh, compression on each individual track. And it really beefs up the drums as far as I'm concerned. It, it makes them stand out more. And you can fake an acoustic drum kit on it. So I went over to Luna, and I tried doing the same thing. Well, it didn't work the same way. In Luna, it's a little bit different. So I've figured out seven steps on how to do this in Luna. And I'm going to show it to you. So the first thing you want to do is set up virtual channels. At least one in Luna. And this is very simple. So if you have your Luna session open, you go to the little UA icon up there. You click on settings and it brings up your hardware profile. If you don't have any virtual channels set up, you can very easily set those up. You would just select an, in, an empty channel. Click on the picture of your Apollo or your twin or whatever. Click virtual and then select virtual one. And then select another free channel, select your interface icon, select virtual, then select virtual two. And that covers that. So you should see your device name in virtual one and virtual two. That actually creates a stereo virtual channel. At that point, I would say click save, save it as a profile. So when you close it, you can reopen it. Select your profile and it'll always be there. All right, that's done. So we'll go back to your track. So here we have the timeline. And I've created a drum pattern in the timeline on an instrument track in Luna. I created the drums using Superior Drummer 3. Of course, you could, I would recommend doing this with a, a drum software that has a built-in mixer. It makes this a lot easier. So what I did is I went in here and I created a groove. Just choose grooves. Just a real quick click and drag them down to the timeline here. Created a song. Selected all of them and then just click and drag this MIDI data into the instrument track. And this is how it turned out. As you can see, all your MIDI data is there. All your drums are there. It's all good to go. So as I said, Seven steps. Step one, modify any MIDI notes in your instrument track. Make sure they are exactly how you want. This is the drum groove that you want because once you commit it to an audio track, it cannot be manipulated. So make sure it's good to go, ready to go. 
So step two, expand the instrument track so you can see what you're doing. Click the fold button at the top. This will consolidate all your MIDI data and it'll hide all the note channels that do not have MIDI data. And step three, what I like to do is I like to launch the drum software that I'm using. In this case, it is going to be Superior Drummer 3. And I'm going to click on the mixer and I'm going to just take note of the drum channels that are in the mixer. As you can see, you got kick in, kick out, kick sub, snare top, snare bottom, hi-hat, so on and so forth. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to mute all of them. You can do this now or you can do it later. But at this point, I'm just going to note them. And because I'm going to create audio tracks relating to these channels. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go up here to Tracks, click Audio. And I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 channels. Now, I don't believe but we're going to and create 13 channels. I don't believe we're doing rack. I don't think there's a rack tom 2, and I don't think there's a floor tom 2. It doesn't really matter. But we're going to create 13 tracks that's going to correspond to these channels. Easy does it. And 13. And we're going to select stereo for right now. You can change these to mono later if you like. And we're going to select OK. It's going to create 13 tracks. So what I like to do at this point is I like to go ahead and name the tracks corresponding to the channel names. And we're going to go ahead and do this real quickly. Just click on the track name here. Delete what's there. So we're going to call this kick in. Kick out. Kick sub. Four time two. Can't type today. Two and we got we got overheads and we got ambient ribbon, which I usually call that a room mic. Excellent. So all of them are labeled. So the reason why I said this is a lot easier to do this in a software with a mixing console is that you can actually mute unmute the channels corresponding to the tracks that you're recording on. I know that sounds kind of confusing, but I'll show you here in just one second. Again, I went ahead and muted all the channels corresponding to the drums, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute them, record, uh, mute, unmute, record. Mute, unmute, record. It's rinse and repeat. I know, it's kind of weird. Patience, persistence, and put on a coffee. Because I haven't got a coffee right now, but it's definitely on the menu for today. I'm definitely going to go get coffee because this is going to take me a while. Select all your channels. And we're going to change the input to virtual one and two, the virtual channel that you created in the very beginning of all this. So the input for all these is gonna be a virtual channel. Your output of your instrument track is gonna be virtual one and two. You kinda of get where I'm going at with this? Step six of all this mess is kind of a personal preference. It's something that I personally like to do because after all, I'm gonna be processing each individual track drum track according to how my taste is. So I'm going to put my own effects on it. I'm going to put my own EQ on it. I'm going to put my own compressor on it. I'm going to go here and mute the reverb that corresponds with this particular drum kit because I may want to put my own reverb on it. All right, I'm going to close this for now. For now. So the idea here is, and Trust me, you will get faster with this, but initially it's going to be slow. It's going to be tedious. So what we're going to do is that we're going to arm the first one. Record. Input monitoring on. 
I'm going to open up Superior Drummer 3, go to the mixer, and I'm going to unmute Kick In. All right. We're going to arm it, and then we're going to play. So now it's going to record. All right, we're just going to record a few seconds of this, or this video would like be really, really long. So just want to demonstrate that what we did is that we recorded the kick in to a track. Okay, next we're going to do the kick out. So I'm going to mute, unmute, disarm this, arm this track here where it says kick out. Set the master recording and hit play. Oh, one more thing. It's always a good idea to go ahead and set your volume levels. I completely forgot about this. My apologies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kick these volumes up a little bit. And I am going to, to where they're rel relatively all the same across the board. Because when you're recording to the track, this is the volume level that you're recording to the track with. So you definitely want the signal to be a good signal going in. So we're going to do it again. Sorry about that. All right, that one's done. So through the power of video editing, I'm going to go ahead and do all these tracks. You're going to watch me do I'm going to speed up the video so you don't have to sit there and watch me do every single one of them. And then at the end, I'll show you what I did. We'll go through some processing, how to add some EQ compression buses to this, and we'll go ahead and conclude this. So stay tuned. That's it. So as you can see, I went through each one of the drum channels, mute, unmute, recorded each one of these individually. So I have my kicks, my snares, hi-hat, all my toms, overheads, and room mics. So now I can go ahead and close this. I can mute this, or you can hide it. So you don't have to look at it anymore. And there they are. 
So now you can, so we'll just go over here and I'll just unmute them here. We'll go back to the mixer and there they are. So now you can go through So now with each one of these drums on their individual channels, now you can go in there and you can add your EQ, you can add your compression, you can assign these to buzzes, you can also change these stereo tracks into mono tracks, like I wouldn't say a kick drum or a snare drum or a tom would have a would be a stereo track. Pretty much the only stereo tracks I would have would be the overheads in the room. And then you can mix them and put them in your song so that's basically it and like i said with enough patience perseverance and coffee you can do this you can get this done thank you very much for watching i certainly do appreciate it be sure to click that subscribe button that like button and that notification bell i would really appreciate it. also if you have any comments you know of any easier way to do this in luna please let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Until next time, take care and go forth and conquer.